Well, I was hoping to get some more footage today, but uh, turns out uh, the gearbox is done. I got another motor, but uh, and uh, the differential gears today. But uh, whatever I did yesterday, I'd say after all the hours of uh, running it, it needs a total rebuild. <laughs> there is quite a bit of metal fleck in the brass, so uh, there needs to be some more of an oil lubricated gearbox, I think, uh, to really be a substantial car. It's a lot of fun. I think I'm going to wait a week or so before I go buy it a rebuild kit for it or something or at least wait till the shop has more parts so. oh fuck I hate that so uh I've modified the circuit board from the uh lossy Baja mini thing um I've taken the switch from my BMW from the when they did the Austin Powers movie and I've added the wire control. I've already tested it. It spins the wheels pretty good. But I'm um, going to have to do some modifications to get this servo in the center of this thing so it's in there right. And then when this goes across, I'm going to have to make a bar to move the wheels. So uh, a few hours this should go, but I'll have to piece this video on. Much more power. So uh, I got it, got it modified now. Um, I have the servo from my uh, micro Baja in here and the cables. I just got a. So I know I'm using a dangerous knife, but it's really sharp. And at this point, anything else, I'm going to break it. Um, in the Mini Cooper, there's a center pin that holds the body on. That has to be removed, otherwise, it's going to crush the new circuit board. I don't know why they put that there, I guess it's just to keep their stock one from flying around. But uh, at this moment, I'm just holding mine in place with a bit of dental floss. Um, when my hand's better, I hope I'll stamp a good piece for the steering box, and uh, maybe I'll actually record that one. I'll glue it down here, i got to clean it off first and score it up. And uh, I'm going to use automotive goop to hold it in. As uh, If I ever need to, I can always pull it out and it should be in one piece. It's as good as rubber cement, but a little bit more goopy. Alright, so uh, I um, gutted all the stuff from the Baja and uh, everything except for the stock motor of my Tyco Mini Cooper um, when they did the Austin Powers movie or whatever. So I've, I now have a fully functional steering control and using the stock motor with the uh, radio unit uh, it'll actually function like a normal car now. I was actually able to just remove the stock servo and I now have the battery and the the team lo uh, lossy or whatever uh, servo in there and I just cut a hole through there. Um, I was actually trying to make a proper piece out of plastic but I frigged up pretty good and uh, as my dad always said don't ever use one of these knives when you're doing modeling because while you're holding it the blade will go out and if you're not conscious of it you pull the knife away and you go to make another cut you slice yourself open so get yourself a good locking blade um, these are quite common now it's a original Zacto knife blade but they now come in a lock blade so nobody ever cuts themselves when they pull their knife out of their pocket it's a little trick the, the tool makers are the ones who cut their hands the most. <laughs>
but uh, I gotta put the body back on and I'm gonna try to clip this fit together. So I don't know, I'm using a dangerous knife, but it's really sharp, and at this point, anything else, I'm gonna break it. Um, in the Mini Cooper, there's a center pin that holds the body on. That has to be removed, otherwise it's gonna crush the new circuit board. I don't want to like, put that there, I guess it's just to keep their stock one from flying around. But uh, at this moment, I'm just holding mine in place with a bit of dental floss. Um, when my hand's better, I hope I'll stamp a good piece for the steering box, and uh, maybe I'll actually record that one. So uh, on the back of the Mini Cooper, I'm just using my protractor because it's the sharpest thing I have. And on piercing a hole, there's a stock location, which is probably where the water sprayer would be, or the key latch or something. But uh, Or maybe it was where they intended to originally put the antenna in the car. Um, what I found is the gins for the side of the antenna on the little lossy servo thing, the receiver. Um, a ginseng straw is just long enough to hold the wire up, and it leaves about two inches of the wire exposed which is okay because if you wanted to fly a flag you want to whip it whip it around a bit so I want to have the hole started I usually use a pair of scissors but one of these star screwdrivers will work fine and you will drill through plastic with a Phillips screwdriver just like you drill through stone with the star drill bit the only thing is you don't have to hammer it you just gotta keep removing the dust and uh, keep the bit clean because otherwise if it clogs up it's just going to wear out your screwdriver. But you don't want to not do this with a really good set of screwdrivers. You have to keep buying one every time you plot a hole in. And it's pretty hard to find a die grinder small enough to grind these screwdrivers. That's why everybody cuts die and once the die is worn out they make new tools. So that's that. A little hole. I don't know if you can see through there. Oh, there it is. So, I got like four screws to put in, and then uh, hopefully we can go rip around in the kit. Okay, so there it is. 